Welcome to the channel. Today is our first in a series of videos on Frigid, a free network video recorder, or NVR as it's known. We'll be installing this as an add-on in Home Assistant. Frigid is free software, although there is a paid version. It provides you many advanced features of paid NVR systems such as object detection. It uses AI to analyze your camera footage to identify objects that you're actually interested in and avoid recording trees blowing in the wind. Now I'm new to Frigate and researching and documenting as I go, but I thought it would be interesting to take you on my journey and video what I found and how you can also use this to get your Frigate NVR up and running. I'll be creating a series of videos and take you through the quick approach through to the optimal approach and show you the issues I found and how I overcame them, along with some pitfalls to avoid along the way. In this first video, we'll be covering the add-on installation way of installing Frigate into Home Assistant. It's super easy and will have you up and running in minutes. So enough of the intro, let's find out what Frigate is and how you can get it up and running in minutes. The first and most important prerequisite is that you're installing Frigate as an add-on within Home Assistant OS or a supervised installation. Otherwise, you will not be able to install any Home Assistant add-ons. To check this in Home Assistant, navigate to Settings, scroll down and select About. If you see Supervisor, then you're good to proceed. If not, then maybe watch my video in the pop-up above on how to install Home Assistant in a VM running in VirtualBox then you can probably be up and running on a desktop or laptop that you have lying around the house. Now to your camera that you'll be using with Frigate. These days the market is flooded with security cameras. A lot of these come with subscription plans, internet access requirements and cloud-based storage. Frigate aims to avoid all of these with local processing for object detection and storage of your recordings. To get Frigate up and running, you're obviously going to need security cameras that can stream footage locally. The Frigate documentation recommends three different types of cameras, but these are not budget friendly. Personally, I'm using a budget friendly USB camera from Sonoff called the SlimCam that provides 1080p resolution and RTSP streaming and all for $26.90 US. Great for proof of concept before you invest in the more expensive options. Links in the description to cameras recommended and budget friendly options. You'll also need to run Frigate on a device. Now for this video, we'll be installing Frigate as a Home Assistant add-on, which will effectively run Frigate in a Docker container. This will need at least four gigabytes of RAM and some storage for your recordings, which will vary depending on the number of cameras, duration, etc. Although this will run on hardware as small as a Raspberry Pi, the heavy processing is required for the object identification. In this example, we'll be performing this on a CPU, but a better solution is to offload this to a device that has tensor cores and machine learning capabilities. This is where you can use your graphics card, but for many of us, this is not an option due to the base hardware where Frigate or Home Assistant is running. As such, the cheapest and simplest option is to invest in a Coral AI USB accelerator. This is compatible with Frigate and once configured provides all the computing power to handle your object identification. And if you're running your Home Assistant on a Nook or a small form factor PC, then you can even install an M2 accelerator that provides even more computing power and makes it internal to your device. Links in the description. But we're getting ahead of ourselves as this is a basic add-on install. You're also going to need a functioning MQTT server. If you don't have an MQTT server installed, then follow the links in the pop-up above and come back once installed. And finally, you'll need a file editor for which I'll be using Studio Code Server. Link in the pop-up above if you don't have it installed already. First, we need to install the Frigate add-on. Navigate to Settings, Add-ons, press the blue add-on store in the bottom right-hand corner. Search for Frigate. Now there are six different versions available. Select the first option for just Frigate. Now press install. This is gonna take some time, so go and make a coffee. Once finished, make sure that Start on Boot is enabled along with Watchdog and Show in Sidebar. Frigate can function with or without MQTT, but if you want to integrate Frigate with Home Assistant, an MQTT broker is required. Both Frigate and Home Assistant must be connected to the same MQTT broker for the integration to work. This is because the Frigate integration uses the MQTT integration in Home Assistant. Now I'll assume that you have already installed MQTT. But if not, then follow the link in the pop-up above. 
This is a video for installing Zigbee 2 MQTT in 5 minutes. Worth a watch if you haven't installed already. But it has an MQTT installation steps also. Now before we start installing Frigate, we need to make sure that FFmpeg is included into your configuration.yaml file. This is included by default, but it's worth checking as it will have a performance impact if not. Press Studio Code Server in the left hand menu. Select your configuration.yaml file. Make sure that you have an entry for FFmpeg included. If not, then add it now. You will need to restart Home Assistant for this to take effect. Next, we'll need to create the configuration file for Frigate. Press Studio Code Server in the left hand menu. Right click in the blank space below the tree structure and select New File. Enter the name frigate.yml. Make sure that this appears in the root, which should be the same level as your configuration.yaml file. Now to make this super simple, navigate to the link in the description and copy the code. Now navigate back to Home Assistant. Paste the code into the frigate.yml file. Now let's walk through the changes that you'll need to make. First you'll need to tell Frigate to use MQTT and where it is located. Insert the IP address of your Home Assistant instance. If you change the port for MQTT from 1883, then you must change it here also. Now insert your username and password that matches those that you set up in MQTT. Next we need to tell Frigate about your cameras. Change the name of the camera to something that makes sense to you. If your camera supports audio output, then you can record these by changing the output arguments. I'll put a link in the description to the available audio arguments that are available. Next we come to the tricky one, the RTSP path. Now when I say tricky, I mean that there are two different components to this. First, you need to make sure that your camera is configured to stream RTSP. So your camera must support this already. Check your camera documentation for this. Secondly, you need to be able to define the path, so you can enter this into the frigate configuration. This will have a standard format of RTSP colon forward slash forward slash username colon password at the IP address colon 554 forward slash and then the stream channel. For example, for my Sonoff Cam Slim, go into the EWI Link application, select your camera, press the three dots in the top right hand corner, select more settings, select RTSP, turn on RTSP, set the username and password, press create link, the link will be displayed, press copy. Now copy this into the frigate.yaml file. This is specific to my camera and yours will be different. Check your camera documentation for details. Now when you've found your link and populated with the details, it's always a good thing to test it out. For this we'll use VLC, which is a popular video playback tool. Links in the description. Open VLC. Press media. Now select stream. Select network in the menu. Paste in your RTSP stream link. Now press stream. Confirm the source and press next. And press next again, followed by next. VLC should now display the live stream from your camera. If not, Go back and recheck your RTSP details and retry. Move back to Studio Code Server. You will notice that we link this to channel 0. This is usually the higher quality channel. Now most cameras also publish a second lower quality channel, usually denoted 1. We'll be using channel 0 for our recordings and we'll be using channel 1 for our detect mode. If your camera does not support multiple output channels, you can use channel 0 for both but this will incur slower processing due to the larger file sizes. Next is the configuration for the detection channel. This will match the resolution of the lower quality channel if available, or the main channel if no sub-channel is available. For the frame rate, you can set this to between 5 and 10 frames per second. This will not impact into the frames per second that will be recorded on the high quality channel. If you wish to record, then you must set the enable flag to true. There are two other arguments that must be configured for retain and events. Retain refers to the duration for which recording video segments are kept before being deleted. You can configure different retention periods for continuous recordings or event-based recordings. Events are defined in Frigate as a tracked object entering or leaving the frame. Events are typically associated with motion detection and object tracking. When an event occurs, Frigate can retain the video segments that overlap with the event for a specific period. The Frigate documentation, links in the description, give you some common configuration options that you can adjust for your user and hardware requirements. 
I've used the minimum configuration to keep the utilization initially low with only event-based recordings, but adjust to your requirements. Now for the moment of truth, restart and test. Navigate to Developer Tools, check your configuration. Make sure the configuration will not prevent Home Assistant from restarting. Press Restart, Restart Home Assistant, and confirm with Restart. Once Home Assistant comes back, let's see if Frigate started. Navigate to Settings, Add-ons, search for and select Frigate. You should see a green dot in the top right hand corner, meaning that Frigate is running. Now let's see if the camera feed shows up in Frigate. Navigate to Frigate in the left hand menu. You'll see a thumbnail of the last recording shown. Select the thumbnail to view the live view. Success! Frigate is now configured in Home Assistant and based on our configuration will record events but not store continual recordings. Now we have Frigate fully functional detecting and recording. We can fully integrate it into Home Assistant. For this we're going to install the Frigate integration. Navigate to Settings, Devices and Services. Press the blue Add Integration button in the bottom right hand corner. Search for and select Frigate. As this is the Home Assistant add-on for Frigate, there is nothing to change. Simply press Submit. Home Assistant will find devices for your cameras and for Frigate itself. Optionally give these an area and press Finish. Now let's go and look at the entities that have been exposed. Search for Frigate. Press Devices. Select Frigate. Now you can see that Frigate is up to date. However, press Entities Not Shown. Three additional entities for CPU inference speed, detection FPS and status will show up. These will become helpful in later part of the Frigate series of videos. I'd recommend turning all three of these on. Select the first greyed out entity. Select the cog in the top right hand corner. Press enable. Home Assistant will warn you that these will not be activated for 30 seconds. Press OK. Now press update. Now repeat this exercise for the remaining two greyed out items. After 30 seconds the entities will become available. The speed of inference is the time taken to determine the object that is moving. The detection FPS is the number of frames that detection can process. Now remember this is running on a VM with two cores allocated, so don't expect anything amazing here. You can tune your frame FPS to match the inference speed. To make this quicker, I'd recommend using a Coral AI accelerator if you are running on a small form factor home assistant server. You can also see that Frigate is up to date and running. Now press the back arrow and select your camera. Here is where the real power of Frigate comes into play as opposed to an NVR. Here you can see the quality feed itself. When was the last time that a person or a car was detected? Which I included into the configuration as a bonus as by default Frigate only detects people and the counts for both. These are entities that you can use within your automation to trigger actions. So now we have everything running. Where are the recordings? Well, they are stored in two places. Firstly, you can access these directly from Frigate itself. Select Events. All events that have been recorded will show up here and can be viewed by selecting the event, deleted by using the trash bin or downloaded directly to your viewing device. Alternatively, now that you have the Frigate integration installed, you can view these within your media directory. Navigate to your media directory in the left hand menu. Select the newly created Frigate folder. Here you can view the events also known as clips, the recordings and snapshots which are stills of the events. In a later video we'll show you how to send these to an external hard disk to minimize your space requirements on your home assistant instance. Now I don't want to go too far into tuning of Frigate as this is coming in a later video. However, I think it's important to show you how to specify a part of the camera view where you wish to not detect motion such as a driveway Conversely, where you wish motion to be detected as opposed to the whole camera view, which is called a zone. Now let's add a motion mask, which is a section of the camera feed where you do not wish motion detection to take place. Now you can do this within the Frigate YAML code directly, but it's far easier to do it within the UI. Within Frigate, select your camera. Select Debug in the top right hand corner. Select Show Options. Make sure that Motion Masks is toggled on. Press Mark and Zone Creator. In Motion Masks, press Add. Now define the corners of the area where you wish motion to be not detected on the camera feed by selecting the corners of a rectangle on the preview screen. Once you are happy with your selection, press Save. This will automatically update the Frigate YAML file. 
Now for this to take effect, we'll need to restart Frigate. Press the three dots in the top right hand corner. Press Restart Frigate and confirm with Yes. Wait a minute or two for Frigate to restart. You'll need to refresh your screen to view the camera again. Now let's add a zone, which is a specific area of the frame where object detection will take place as opposed to the whole frame. Press Add in the Zone section. Now using the preview screen, highlight the corners of a rectangle. Once finished, press Save. Your zone will be saved to the frigate.yaml file. Now for these changes to take effect, you'll need to restart Frigate. So this was a super quick introduction to setting up Frigate in Home Assistant by using the add-on. This is a series of videos, and in the future videos we'll dive into more in-depth and advanced features, such as optimizing Frigate, storing your recordings outside of Home Assistant instance, using a graphics card accelerator to improve on detection frame rates and reduce the inference times, and maybe using a Coral NPU for a standalone user. So if you'd like to know when that video comes out, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell and maybe become a channel member to get early access to videos as they become available. And if I've helped you get your frigate up and running, then maybe a super thanks or a PayPal donation. It's really appreciated. Until the next one.